Serge from Skycon up here, and today I want to show you how to set your shortcut keys on your phone. The easiest way for you to do this is through the 3CX web client. This is done by going to your, the URL for your phone system forward slash web client. This link is in your 3CX welcome email and your username and password to log in is in your welcome email as well. Your username is your extension number and your password is a randomly generated uh, password. If you don't have this handy anymore, talk to your 3CX administrator to have them resend your welcome email and this will have all the information you need. So I've set up my computer here and I'm already logged into our web client. And in our web client, we're gonna go down to settings and BLF settings. And then here we can see the first two are set up by the administrator. Those are our shared park extensions. And we'll see these buttons right on the phone. Now, if I wanna do some speed dials to other people in the office or an external number, uh, I'm able to set these up right here on my own. And the great thing about doing it this way is they'll persist across phones and be available on all of your phones if you have multiple phones because this provisioning comes from the server and is not configured directly on the phone. So let's add a BLF. The great thing about BLF, uh, it stands for busy lamp field, and that will tell you when that person is on the phone or not, uh, as long as you have permissions to do that from the 3CX administrator. But by default, people have that feature. So I am gonna add another user here and Really, that's all I have to do. I can switch off and I can see if I go back to settings and go back to BLF, we see this is configured already there. So if we take a peek over to our phone, we can now see, actually I'm gonna change this. If we pop over our phone, we can see the third button down is set as that shortcut key. So that's all you have to do. What you'll do when you set these BLF fields for them to be available on your phone, you'll just have to reboot your phone. The easiest way is to unplug the network adapter and plug it back in. Uh, there is a menu item depending on the phone you can go into to restart the phone. And that's what you'll need to do. And you can see we're able to add, say a speed dial, or sorry, a custom speed dial. And this now can be, say you call Federal, Federal Express, FedEx, a lot because you deal with shipping and receiving. You can then put in their 800 number. And save their name. And again, as soon as you type it in, it's saved. And that'll be a shortcut speed dial. You of course won't have BLF information. It won't tell you if they're on the phone or not because they're outside of your phone system, but you'll have a quick one button push to be able to call that external number. So that is how to manage your own shortcut keys on your phone using the 3CX web client. If you're finding these tutorial videos helpful, you, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel here. And if you want more information and tips and tricks with 3CX, you can view our 3CX playlist here. We're constantly adding videos to both. We hope you find them helpful.